Hello! Today in this video, we're going to show you how to make a sundial. But not just any sundial, an equatorial sundial. The people involved in this video involve group members Ajit Gill, Daniel Risen, and myself, Kareem Ammer. Before we get started, let us analyze the different parts of a sundial. A sundial consists of a dial plate, a gnomon or a style that is perpendicular to the dial plate. The gnomon is a pole or rod that passes through the center of the dial plate. The shadow of the gnomon cast among the hour lines on one of these two dial faces shows the times. Although no one really knows who first utilized the sun in order to tell time, archaeologists found the first ever sundial in Egypt. It is believed that the ancient Egyptians used sundials in order to divide the workday into different segments. The beauty of a sundial is that it can be flat or concave, fixed or portable as well. An equatorial sundial is actually a reduced model of the Earth, similar to a globe with its upper and lower halves removed. The dial plate represents the plane of the Earth's equator, and the gnomon represents the Earth's axis of rotation. Here you can see us getting started on the base of the equatorial sundial. We chose to make the base circular for our portable sundial. This is so that at different latitudes and at different directions we can easily turn the sundial to tell time. Next we see Daniel cutting out a stand for the actual sundial. Daniel is now perforating the bottom of the stand in order to permanently attach it to the base. It is important to notice the safety precaution Daniel takes while making this part of the sundial. Notice how he always aims the scissors away from him. Now that the standard has been built, we need to figure out how we are going to divide the hours. Since the sun rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours, the hour lines on an equatorial dial are all placed 15 degrees apart as shown by this equation. Daniel now is cutting out the axes in which the latitude can be determined on the equatorial sundial. He's making two sides to these axes so that it can be read from both directions.
Daniel is now adding a support system to the pieces of paper that have the latitude on them. It is important when making a sundial that it is structurally sound. Daniel now adds the dial plate to the sundial. It is important that it is put right in the middle so that the gnomon can show the hour place easily. Daniel now applies his ultimate arts and crafts skills to make a gnomon and add it to the sundial. The equatorial sundial can now be placed on its stand. As you can see, there are 12 different hour segments. It is also important to notice that the latitudes are determined by a protractor. At 90 degrees, the dial plate will be perfectly perpendicular to the ground. Since the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, Daniel needs to add the north direction facing away from the sundial. Although this isn't considered your most perfect sundial, each team member takes a turn trying to adjust the latitudes in order to get an accurate time.